What we're trying to do in the Do It Center is to help students with disabilities be successful in college and careers, um, but also using technology as an empowering tool. I founded the Do It program in 1992 with a grant from the National Science Foundation. And the idea was to help students with disabilities from high school transition to college, into graduate school, and onto careers. We have summer programs for teens with disabilities to get ready for college. We have an online mentoring program, and we work with faculty to help them make their courses accessible and technology companies and making their technology accessible to people with disabilities, and even with parents to help their children with disabilities prepare for adult life. One of the things that makes the Do It Center unique is that we embrace students with a wide variety of disabilities. And so as we engage in all of our activities, um, students learn about one another's challenges and the access barriers that they face. Many of our projects are funded by the National Science Foundation. For example, Access Computing. Uh, we work with computing faculty nationwide to help them include students with disabilities in their programs. We have a similar project called Access Engineering, where we work with engineering faculty. Another project that we have is called Access ISL, Informal Science Learning. And there we're working with people that develop museum exhibits, helping them make them more accessible to people with disabilities. The Do It Scholars Program is where we work with teens with disabilities to get them ready for college and careers. The Do It Scholars Program draws students from all over the state. And we really um, work with each student to help them identify what post-secondary experience will be best for them and their family. What we find most important is to talk with that student about what they're interested in, where they want to go, and help them go there. For the Do It Scholars Program, we'd like to start engaging students and families when they're sophomores in high school. We invite them to come and live with us on the university campus for three summers, after their sophomore year, after their junior year, and then as they're graduating high school. When the Do It Scholars are at summer camp, they take a lot of uh, classes and courses with us. And so some of those are related to leadership and advocacy. Some of those are related to different career fields that they might want to learn about. And some of it is, is related to college access and how to advocate for what you might need in a college environment. We always love working with the Do It Scholars. They bring energy, creativity, and innovation to every program, whether it's the classroom, a summer program, or uh, another event going on on campus. Access Engineering is a program where our goals are to both encourage more individuals with disabilities to pursue careers in engineering and to also train all of our engineers in principles of universal design. Access Engineering has partnered tightly with the Do It Center and the scholars. Uh, each summer we run uh, instructional programs to help the Do It Scholars explore different career paths in engineering. However, the Do It Scholars also have helped us immensely in making the campus and in particular engineering more inclusive. For their third summer, as high school graduates, many of whom have been accepted into college, they work as leaders and mentors to the younger students who are with us for the summer. I was one of the first Do It Scholars. The mentorship that I had early on from Do It was sufficient to show me how to actually mentor people. Um, and that has specifically influenced my career because I manage people now. What the my high school didn't necessarily have and the DUO program did was a community that focused on disability empowerment. It's very nice to finally be in a community where I did not feel as isolated as I did in the past. The Do It Scholars program taught me that I really need to be willing to advocate for myself, um, not just out in the typical everyday world, but um, in classes with professors and saying, that's not going to work for me, or I really need my extended time. I got into the program when I was a junior in high school, and that was the first time that I met other people with disabilities who wanted to go to college, who had expectations that they were going to go to college, and were thinking about a career even beyond. I've hired a lot of people in my life, and I've never hired them because of what they can't do. It's always because of what they can do. And the Do It program, these kids have an opportunity to meet adults that see their opportunities before them and figure out how they can maximize the use of those skills and interests they have to be successful. For more information about Do It, you can go to our website, uw.edu slash do it. Copyright 2020, University of Washington.